Hemochromatosis is a condition that causes the body to absorb too much iron from food leading to an excess of iron in various organs like the liver, heart, pancreas and joints. While the body normally controls iron absorption carefully, individuals with hemochromatosis experience disruptions in this regulation. Diagnosing hemochromatosis typically involves reviewing history, conducting exams and performing laboratory tests. These tests may include blood tests. These can determine levels of serum ferritin, a protein that stores iron, and transferrin saturation, the amount of iron bound to transferrin. Elevated levels can indicate an excess of iron. Genetic testing. This can detect mutations in the HFE gene linked to hemochromatosis. Liver function tests. These evaluate liver health affected by iron. Imaging tests. MRI or ultrasound scans may be used to assess liver iron levels and look for organ damage signs. The treatment for hemochromatosis focuses on lowering the body's iron levels to prevent harm to organs. Blood removal through phlebotomy, a method that entails extracting blood from the body, similar to blood donation. This process gradually decreases iron levels, helps avoid complications. Use of iron chelating drugs in situations where phlebotomy is not feasible or effective. These medications aid in eliminating iron by binding to it and facilitating its removal from the body. Making adjustments by advising patients to limit their intake of iron foods like red meat and iron fortified products as well as avoiding iron supplements. Managing complications that may arise if hemochromatosis has already caused organ damage such as liver cirrhosis, diabetes or heart disease. Early detection and treatment of hemochromatosis are essential for preventing complications and enhancing long-term outcomes. Regular monitoring of both iron levels and organ function is usually recommended for management of the condition. Signs and symptoms of hemochromatosis. Feeling of tiredness or weakness, weight loss, joint pain, bronze or gray skin color, abdominal pain, and loss of sex drive. Gene mutations that cause hemochromatosis. A gene called HFE is most often the cause of hereditary hemochromatosis. You inherit one HFE gene from each of your parents. The HFE gene has two common mutations, C282Y and H63D. Genetic testing can reveal whether you have these changes in your HFE gene. If you inherit two altered genes, you may develop hemochromatosis. You also can pass the altered gene on to your children. But not everyone who inherits two genes develops problems linked to the iron overload of hemochromatosis. If you inherit one altered gene, you're unlikely to develop hemochromatosis. However, you are considered a carrier of the mutation, altered gene, and can pass the altered gene on to your children. But your children wouldn't develop the disease unless they also inherited another altered gene from the other parent. Factors that increase your risk of hemochromatosis include having two copies of an altered HFE gene. This is the greatest risk factor for hereditary hemochromatosis. Family history. If you have a parent or sibling with hemochromatosis, you're more likely to develop the disease. Ethnicity. People of Northern European descent are more prone to hereditary hemochromatosis than are people of other ethnic backgrounds. Hemochromatosis is less common in people of Black, Hispanic and Asian ancestry. Your sex. Men are more likely than women to develop symptoms of hemochromatosis at an earlier age. Because women lose iron through menstruation and pregnancy, they tend to store less of the mineral than men do. After menopause or a hysterectomy, the risk increases for women. Untreated, hemochromatosis can lead to a number of complications. These complications especially affect your joints and organs where excess iron tends to be stored, such as your liver, pancreas and heart. Complications can include liver problems. Cirrhosis, permanent scarring of the liver, is just one of the problems that may occur. Cirrhosis increases your risk of liver cancer and other life-threatening complications. Diabetes. Damage to the pancreas can lead to diabetes. Heart problems. Excess iron in your heart affects the heart's ability to circulate enough blood for your body's needs. 
This is called congestive heart failure. Hemochromatosis also can cause abnormal heart rhythms, called arrhythmias. Reproductive problems. Excess iron can lead to erectile dysfunction and loss of sex drive in men. It can cause an absence of the menstrual cycle in women. Early diagnosis and treatment of hemochromatosis are crucial for preventing serious complications and improving long-term outcomes. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.